Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Tim with the University of Vinyl. Thanks for tuning in again. If you're new, check out my back catalog. If you like what you see, a like, a comment, maybe even a subscription to my channel. All you have to do is hit that button. Would be greatly appreciated. Uh, us struggling content creators here in the vinyl community need all the help that we can get. Uh, especially with those people who are like trending north of 30 and 40,000 subscribers. I am a lowly neophyte with about 9,500 subscribers, which I greatly appreciate. But anyway, consider subscribing. Maybe longtime viewers have just been lazy. Come on, people. Okay, today I'm going to be, this is rare, I'm going to try and be uh, laser focused. I just want to talk about two of our beloved bands from the UK. I want to talk about one album from Led Zeppelin and another album from Roxy Music. Specifically, I want to talk about the debut albums. And if you've watched many of my videos... I'm sure you know that I have a penchant, penchant <laughs> for collecting original pressings whenever possible. I feel that the tapes were fresh. The magic that was worked, uh, you know, whether it's a country of origin situation, fresh master tapes. If you can find a near mint example of original pressings, more often than not, you're going to be incredibly pleased with the sound quality. Now, of course, at first, you know, first and foremost, it's all about the music. You don't want to get into a, a situation where you have um, multiple pressings and you know different mastering engineers and different years of release hmm <laughs> long story short i actually want to focus in today on two later represses of the self-titled 1968 led zeppelin debut album and the 72 roxy music album uh, you know, I'm going to be showing something that was repressed in either the late 70s or early 80s uh, from Roxy Music. And actually, one of the identification um, items on that record is actually the title of the record as it appears on the label. And I think it's called The First Roxy Music Album. Let's talk about that 1972 album. Such a fantastic debut from Brian Ferry and Brian Eno, uh, Andy McKay, uh, Phil Manzara, and, you know, the bass player situation is confusing. Re read up about it. But anyway, there is that gorgeous lady on the front cover, and we don't get that beautiful gatefold with the fantastic Technicolor color photos of the band. And it's worth it to seek out a gatefold just for those photos. I mean, talk about a time capsule and swinging London in, you know, the late 60s into the early 70s. Amazing. Um... This is the reissue I'm talking about. It's on that kind of transitional ATCO label. But the most important thing I want to talk about with this is it's another incredible mastering job by George Piros. George Piros is known out there. If you don't know, um, I have a video, uh, I've, I've featured many videos on Mastering Engineers, George Piros included. I've got a playlist, you can go look and, and check that out if you want to learn more about George Piros. Anyway, great Mastering Engineer. Um, he has incredible presence, um, a wide sound stage. 
uh, not not him, but the records that he has worked on, for whatever reason, it's got a fantastic mix, fantastic EQ, um, slam, drive, punch, all of those, all of those words, all of those descriptors are usually present in a George Piro's uh, mastered record, and if you read the reviews on, you know, a lot of people will say, well, oh, those, those, uh, those island pink rim labels are just gorgeous, and you know, shouldn't they sound good as well? Well, the consensus says that they don't sound good, and they are kind of muffled, they're veiled, there's not a lot of detail or separation there. If you're looking for detail and separation, and did I say a fantastic soundstage, look for this particular reissue. It can be had for $15 to $25. Of course, you want to find one that's super clean and hopefully in near mint condition like the one that I found. That is tip number one today. Avoid that first UK cut. Also avoid the first American cut because they're nothing to write home about as well. And while we're talking about it, those recent reissues where they've reproduced uh, in heavy cardstock that glorious uh, gatefold cover, uh, meh. <laughs> there it is, George Piros, the late 1970s, early 80s repressing of the first Roxy Music album, highly recommended. And, and remember, with the American pressings, you're getting that standalone single, Virginia Plain, added on side one, which is great. Have you heard about that mythical, uh, the Led Zeppelin self-titled turquoise cover? Uh, the UK uh, cover with the, uh, it was limited. Um, for some reason, it, it got pulled and uh, they never put out the turquoise cover again, as far as I, I think I'm sure of that. Uh, a lot of people will talk about wanting to have that, wanting to have that initial pressing out of the UK, and hell, it's limited and, and rare. Why not? You know, we need to add that to the, uh, the Led Zeppelin II RL hot mix. Have you seen the prices on Discogs. And oh, by the way, there appears to be some kind of a scam going on as well. People are, are um, thinking they're buying that particular pressing and they're not getting it. Um, I don't know what is going on there. I haven't had time to research it much. And frankly, I don't care because I have another George Piros cut. This is actually a 1974 repressing of the self-titled debut album. It sounds amazing. It rivals my RL Led Zeppelin II as far as slam, drive, presence, um, just guts and air where you need it to be. Um, and believe me, this thing pushes a lot of air if you have the right system. And it sounds fucking amazing. Um, of course, it is issued on the uh, Atlantic Records label. I, uh, I have not heard a copy from uh, the vaunted classic records uh, um, reissues and re remasters that came out. Um, in the, was it the early 2000s, I believe? And uh, I have never heard an original uh, UK plum. Uh, but when you listen to this record, it's breathtaking. And you want to find something that's in near mint condition. Because remember, there's a lot of quiet passages um, before, you know, a forthcoming explosion comes out of your out of your speakers. So, try to find something that is um, very very low surface noise uh, situation if you can. And um, the median price on Discogs for this record. And by the way, George Piros he did um, represses of this 
uh, in 72, 73, 74, all the way up to 75, I believe, maybe later. Um, this 74 has um, the uh, 75 Rockefeller Plaza address in the, uh, in the um, uh, outer lying label rim text. Um, the earlier ones are going to have 1841 Broadway. The most important thing, though, is you want to see that little at symbol uh, with GP etched on both sides of the record in the dead wax. So at uh, GP for George Piros. You're going to be incredibly pleased. That is tip number two today here from um, classes. Are, are, I'm, I'm doing like syllabus planning right now for the coming year. Um, I've, I've got, um, you know, kids that are coming into town next week. A uh, lot of planning going on here at uh, uh, here on campus. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, this has been a public service announcement from Professor Tim at the University of Vinyl. Have a great day.